In this video, you will learn how to book a standard trip in the Motive Care app. To begin, go to the home screen and click Book a Trip. Select Standard. Then click Next. Choose an appointment date and appointment type. The appointment types are based on the member's plan. When you finish, click Next. Then enter the pickup address and contact number. You can type the pickup address into the search bar, select it from recent searches, or go to Favorites. The Favorites tab allows you to save and name frequently used addresses. A saved address can be edited or deleted at any time. To add a new favorite, select Add New Favorite and enter the address. Then click Add. If you'd like, you can name the address. Then click Add Address. This address will be saved and easily found when you book rides. Next, add a pickup phone number. This number can belong to a member, user, or facility. Next, enter driver instructions. This is optional information but useful for the driver. For example, member has a walker. Then click Next. Enter the drop-off details. Select your arrival time. You can type the drop-off address into the search bar, select it from recent searches, or go to Favorites. Enter a drop-off phone number for the facility, user, or member. Enter driver instructions. Remember, this is optional but helpful for the driver. You can also add another trip leg such as a round-trip ride or a new drop-off location by clicking Add Another Leg. Repeat the same steps. Some of the information such as the pickup address and contact number will already be added from the drop-off information, but can be changed if needed. When finished, click Next. When choosing a pickup time you have the option to select, will call, or schedule a specific pickup time. Will call allows you to contact Motive Care when you are ready to be picked up. Next enter the drop-off address and contact number. If you don't need to add a trip leg, click Next. Then enter more member information. Select if the member can walk or needs assistance. Then click Next. Enter the height and weight of the member. If a member can walk, this is optional. Entering a member's height and weight ensures the correct vehicle is sent. Then, click Next. Select if the member will have a companion. Before you select Yes, check that the member's benefit plan allows this. If the member selects Yes, without this benefit option the ride may be denied. When you are finished, click Next. Enter more information here if needed. For example, member has a service animal. Then, click Next. Select if the member can sign the driver's log. Then, click Next. Check the information. Click Edit Information to make changes. If all is correct, click Next. You will see your trip details. Check the appointment information, pick up and drop off details. And review additional information. To correct information before booking your trip, Click on the edit button in the section you wish to change. If you need to add another leg after reviewing your trip details, you can click add another leg here. If the information is correct and you don't need to add another leg, click book trip. You will see that your trip request is being reviewed. Your trip will be approved or denied within two business days. You can book multiple trips up to 30 days in advance. To view the status of your trip, go to the My Ride screen. To ensure a smooth pickup, please be ready 15 minutes before your scheduled pickup time. Your pickup time might change. Check it regularly.